dear students today we will study about gene expression a gene expresses itself in a protein or enzyme that control the development of a specific character or a function so we can say that proteins are a link between the genotype and phenotype gene expression or protein synthesis occurs in two steps one one is called as transcription and the other one is translation uh, transcription the word transcription that means written copy and it occurs during sub phases of cell cycle called as g0 g1 and g2 these are the phases which appear during interphase first step uh, the uh, uh, trans process of transcription that is a continuous process but for our convenience we can divide it into three phases initiation phase elongation phase and termination phase initiation phase uh, first of all i will explain that transcription begins with uh, when the uh, uh, rna polymerase it binds itself with a particular region called as promoter region promoter region is a region which appears or which is present before the uh, location of actual gene in prokaryotes there are two binding sites uh, which are located in promoter region that is tata at also called as stem sequence and tt gasa also called as 35 sequence while in eukaryotes there are two binding site in the promoter region one is called as tata or tata box or 25 sequence and cat that is 70 sequence the um, actually uh, these uh, like names of these sequences 10 35 25 and 70 refer to position that these sequences are located before the initiation site of gene structural region of the gene now i will explain structure of rna polymerase RNA polymerase that consists of four subunits, two alpha which are alike to beta, but one is beta, other one is beta prime, and the fourth one is called as sigma factor. These four are sigma subunit. The first three subunits they are called as core enzyme and sigma factor are subunit that is only used for the attachment of RNA polymerase. with that of the binding site so uh, uh, and rest of the three regions are uh, sorry three subunits they are considered as core enzymes and they uh, can they help in the polymerization or in making of what rna now uh, RNA polymerase that is of only one type in prokaryotes while in eukaryotes there are three different types of RNA polymerases uh, for making three different types of RNAs because all the RNAs either it is a ribosomal messenger or transfer RNA they are made from what from uh, from the process called as what transcription or during the process called as what transcription RNA polymerase one in eukaryotes is involved in the formation of ribosomal RNA while RNA polymerase two that is involved in the formation of messenger RNA and RNA polymerase three that is involved in the formation of what transfer RNA as the RNA polymerase binds to the promoter DNA duplex become unwind base pairs are broken down and a bubble like structure appear which is called as what transcription bubble i to i repeat it again when rna polymerase that binds with what with dna rn uh, bonds between the two strands of dna they are broken down and uh, a 
bubble that appears which is called as what transcription bubble so next phase is called as what elongation phase so uh, i explain initiation phase initiation phase uh, in initiation phase i uh, explain promoter region of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes then rna polymerase and then types of rna polymerases which are involved in making three different types of rnas in eukaryotes second phase is called as elongation phase as the rna polymerase binds to the promoter sigma factor is released and remaining core enzyme controls the polymerization of ribonucleoside triphosphate or rntps it doesn't require primer to initiate strand uh, to initiate the polymerization one of the two strands of the gene which function uh, during this process one is called as template strand or antisense strand and the other one is called as sense or coding strand means two strands of dna at this point are one is called as what sense or coding strand and the other one is called as template or antisense strand antisense or template strand is that strand which is used to make a messenger rna and while the other strand which is called as sense or coding strand they do not participate in the process of transcription as this strand has the same nucleotides which are present on the rna nucleotides that's why we call it what sense or coding strand while the antisense or template strand is called so because it functions as a template for uh, messenger rna and secondly nucleotides which are present on the dna strand they are uh, opposite or against the nucleotides which are present on messenger rna that's why it is called as what antisense strand uh, in elongation phase rna polymerase keep on moving from 5 prime to 3 prime from 5 prime to 3 prime means it adds up new nucleotides at 3 prime like replication i told you earlier that replication that also proceed from 5 prime to 3 prime in the similar way process of transcription that also proceeds in the same pattern from 5 prime to 3 prime means new nucleotides they add up at the 3 prime or 3 end last phase is called as termination phase the sequence of terminator region of the gene that stops the process of transcription or synthesis of messenger rna the terminator region consists of a series of gc base pair gc base pairs followed by uh, 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 followed by a series of at base pairs on the gene means when a series of gc guanine and cytosine base pairs they appear on that of the gene and which are followed by adenine thymine base pair so uh, uh, process of termination that starts now uh, the part of messenger rna which is transcribed in this region that Uh, projects to form a loop like structure which is called as gc hairpin followed by a small tail of uracil ribonucleotide means this is gc hairpin and it will be followed by uracil ribonucleotide the gc hairpin causes the rna polymerase to stop the synthesis of rna and although we know that rna that is single stranded but over here temporarily it makes bond with the uh, nucleotides present on the opposite side and as a result a loop like structure that appears but uh, still it is what it is single stranded it is not double stranded
with this process that is completed but once messenger rna that is formed that uh, contains some intronic regions with it because the whole gene that gets transcribed in the form of messenger rna but you know uh, um, some uh, regions which are called as introns which are not which do not code any amino acids they are not required during protein synthesis so those regions they must be removed and secondly like to protect this messenger rna from um, acid phosphatases and nucleases which are present in the uh, nucleus some modification that should occur so uh, like for this it occurs during a step which is called as what post transcriptional modification during post transcriptional modification a cap and a tail that is added to that of the primary messenger rna cap is the it is in the form of what seven methyl gtp and it adds up with the five prime of the messenger rna and poly a tail that consists of about 30 to 500 adenine nucleotides and that is added at three prime of the uh, messenger rna and secondly during this process during post transcriptional modifications in trans of messenger rna they get removed so the removal of in trans and maturation of primary messenger rna that occurs but during post transcriptional modification and uh, these in trans they get removed by a process which is called as what splicing and that occurs with the help of rna protein complexes which are called as spliceosomes and these rna protein complexes they splice exo uh, intron fragments from that of the exon and later on uh, exonic fragments they get joined together with the help of rna ligase with the help of rna ligase enzyme so as a result process of trans most trans transcriptional modification that uh, is completed i can recapitulate this whole process as i told you gene expression means a process in which a gene exp expresses itself in a protein or an enzyme that controls not only development but also it controls specific functions of the body so gene expression or protein synthesis is a step which is completed into Uh, uh phases one is called as transcription and the other one is called as what translation process of transcription although it is a continuous process but for our convenience we can divide it into three phases initiation phase elongation phase and termination phase initiation phase is that phase during which uh, rna polymerase that binds itself with a region which is called as what promoter region and in promoter region in prokaryotes there are two binding sites for the attachment of rna polymerase one is called as uh, tata at and the other one is called as tt gasa uh, or minus uh, minus 10 means like it is earlier to that of the original or structural gene and 35 sequence and tata for eukaryotes it is tata box or tata and uh, 25 sequence are cat or 70 sequence and then i told you rna polymerase that consist of four subunits alpha beta beta prime and sigma sigma factor that is used only for the attachment while alpha and beta and beta prime they are core enzymes and they proceed the process of what polymerization and they are collectively called as what core enzyme then i told you that there are three types of rna polymerases in eukaryotes while only one type of uh, rna polymerase that is there which is used for making uh, all three different types of rnas in prokaryotes 
आर एन ए पोल वन आर पोलीमरेज वन दैट इज़ यूज फॉर मेकिंग राइबोसोमल आर एन ए पोलीमरेज टू दैट इज़ यूज फॉर मेकिंग मैसेंजर आर एन ए वाइल पोलीमरेज थ्री दैट इज़ यूज फॉर मेकिंग वर्ड ट्रांसफर आर एन ए दैन आई एक्सप्लेन दैट लॉन्गेशन फेज आर वंस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन बबल दैट हैज़ बीन फॉर्म आफ्टर द अटैचमेंट ऑफ आर एन ए पोलीमरेज एंड टू सेंस टू स्ट्रेंड्स दे गेट टेम्पलेट आर एंटी सेंस स्ट्रैंड फ्राम विच मैसेंजर आर एन ए दैट इज ट्रांसक्राइब एंड द अदर स्ट्रैंड विच इज़ नॉट यूज इन मेकिंग मैसेंजर आर एन ए दैट इज कार्ड एस वर्ड सेंस आर कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड दैन आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट टर्मिनेशन फेज इन टर्मिनेशन फेज लाइक ऑन द जीन वैन जी सी पेज पेयर्स दे अपीयर एंड दे विल बी फॉलोड बाय एटी बेज पेयर्स दैन प्रोसेस ऑफ टर्मिनेशन are the terminator region that appears and uh, uh, from the messenger rna which has been transcribed that forms a loop like structure which is called as gc hairpin and it is followed by uh, uh, poly uracil ribonucleotides or many uracil ribonucleotides and then i explained about post transcriptional modification because from the dna primary messenger rna which is formed that contains both exons and इन ट्रांस दीज आर इन ट्रांस दिस इज इन ट्रॉन दिस वन इज इन ट्रॉन विच आर नॉट यूज विच कैन नॉट बी यूज ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन सो दे मस्ट बी रिमूव फ्रॉम द मैसेंजर आर एन ए सेकेंडली टू प्रोटेक्ट दिस मैसेंजर आर एन ए फ्राम एसिड फॉस्फोटेज एंड न्यूक्लियज इट मस्ट बी एडिड विद सम कैप एंड अ टेल Uh, cap that is uh, of seven methyl GTP while tail is of poly adenine nucleotides and there are about three thirty to five hundred adenine nucleotide and while in prokaryotes no such post transcriptional modifications they are required to messenger RNA because like uh, it doesn't need it doesn't have to move to a long distance like eukaryotic eukaryotic messenger RNA. and then spliceosomes they are involved in the process of splicing or breaking the introns and these are rna protein complexes which can splice introns and later on uh, rna ligase enzyme that is used to uh, bind the fragments of exon and as a result a uh, messenger rna that gets formed uh, during the process and uh, this is like uh, this is that enzyme uh, sorry this is actually uh, what this is mature rna this is mature rna which is provided with a cap and a poly a tail to protect itself from what from uh, enzymes which are in the form of either nucleases or acid phosphatases so um, and another very important thing process of transcription that also proceed from 5 prime to 3 prime means new nucleotides they add up at the 3 prime of the growing nucleo of the growing messenger rna so uh, i think the thing else is left okay that's it and uh, thank you so much